All right, so plinth beam is a reinforced concrete beam constructed at plinth level of the building, which are typically paved at the junction between masonry wall and the foundation. These types of beams are designed to distribute the load of the wall over a large area, reducing the pressure on the foundation and preventing soil erosion. Plinth beams are commonly used in areas with a high risk of soil erosion or in the buildings constructed on soft soil. These types of structures, or you can say beams, provide additional support to the building in the event of an earthquake or maybe other seismic activities. These beams in these structures prevent differential settlement and all the loads on the plinth beam are transferred equally to the foundation. Such beam prevents moisture from entering the building from the foundation side. And these types of beams bind, you can say, all the columns at the plinth level. Now what should be the size of the plinth beam? This is actually a good question. However, this depends on various factors such as the size and type of the building, the load bearing capacity of the soil, and the, you can say, building codes and some regulations. However, in common practice and based on some thumb rules, the height of the plinth beam is usually kept between 225 mm to 450 mm, and the width is typically kept equal to the width of the masonry, or maybe up to 300 mm. Further, if you consider some Asian countries such as Pakistan and India, the width of the plinth beam is usually kept as 9 inches, as the wall width is 9 inches in these countries. Based on thumb rules, the minimum width of the beam, or you can say plinth beam, must equal to the width of the wall and depth in inches must equal to the length of beam in feet. Which means, if the beam's length is 12 feet, then its depth or height must be 12 inches. And if beam's length is 10 feet, then its height or depth must be 10 inches, and so on. Here in Pakistan, based on past experience, the plant beam size for a one-story building is 9 by 9 inches, and 9 by 12 inches are used for two-story, three-story, and four-story houses. Still, however, the size just depends on the size and type of the building, load-bearing capacity of the soil, and some local building's code and regulations. So you must consult a structure engineer in order to design a plant beam. See you in the next video.